Hello Sprouts, welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy V, where we are continuing on Inside of Hope Arbiter. And I remembered the forage option exists. And we can upgrade some of our equipment. Now we are still using the hockey stick, and we have plenty of softwood. And ooh, increased our attack and magic attack. Our accuracy, our speed, and even more. Um, <laughs> luck of brick and leather. Okay, then let's see what kitty can upgrade. Um, steel plate cannot upgrade it because I don't have any. Could do the bandit blade. You know, I think I will upgrade it, and then I'll see... Ooh, can I do the armor? I can do the armor. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Is that all I can do? Hats? I can upgrade hats. I just... You know, as long as it doesn't take money and it just takes some common resources, I'm going to upgrade everything I can get my little hands on. Um, and not upgrade any of the flare. Okay, sparkly thing. My treasure. Uh, oh, chest. It blended in really well. Angry bee. Mix for this drop, 1% more gold. That's nice. We've got quicks and beasts and burglars. Nothing but problems around here. I'd move to Greenwood right now if I could afford it. I'd even leave the husband behind if I had to. That's kind of harsh. Uh, can I... Hey, what you looking at me like that for? I ain't no thief. There's no hidden door back here. Get out of here. Scream before you get hurt. Uh, That... Definitely implies there's a hidden door there somewhere. I'd like to pass through here to look at the swords, but I've never had the cash to actually buy anything. The shopkeeper always gives me a mean look. I think he's hiding a dark secret. I mean, he probably just doesn't want you looking at things when you're not going to buy any. There's no way I could steal this. I wouldn't even be able to lift it. <laughs> but it's the buster sword. We need it. Okay, um, there's a door on the back side, but we can't get to it. That other person is in the way. Bye. Oh, um, army helmet? Nurse hat, boosts the power of healing spells. Genji armor, boosts the damage of earth skills. Nurse uniform, pocket watch, gives haste occasionally. Black thing. Ice cream sandwich. How is that equipment? Um, but gee, 60k. Alchemist bow. Giant slayer. Water. Ice. Nimbus rod. Those are cool, but gonna be a while before I can afford that. Now, I might come back for the nursing bit. Um, once I get a heal skill, I can just barely afford it. Eh, hey, there's some more types here in here today. Never seen so many before. Me meow? Meow? Nah, this place won't give us any leftovers to bums like you. I've tried it myself. <laughs> I destroyed something. Now this is art. Simple and straight to the point. I just passing through. It ain't much to stay around here for. Maybe I'll just walk a few enemies before moving on to the next area. I agree. I'm just warming up, but once I'm stronger, I'll be heading overseas for greater challenges. Did you know some enemies respawn if you leave the area? It's only the ones that aren't blocking any major paths, though. You can use them to farm resources if you're stuck, though you usually shouldn't need to. Got a pop dart. Permanent increases Natalie's attack and defense. Which means we're gonna get someone named Natalie. Have you tried capturing any monsters yet? 
It gets tricky with the stronger ones. Lowering their hit point isn't enough, you gotta lower their stats too. And status effects like stun and freeze help the most. But most strong enemies are resistant to status effects, right? I suppose I could check the resistance info by scanning them, but sometimes I forget to do that. <laughs> Relatable. Every little bit helps. With stronger monsters, you'll be able to stack quite a lot of effects before it kills over. Yep, this is my 16th espresso today. Eyeballs started starting to pop out a little bit, but I'm feeling good, man. I've never really been a fan of coffee. Maybe that'll change someday. Please don't drink 16 espressos in a day. Got magma chunk and gunpowder. Well, it's nice to have the free gunpowder. Cola, energy drink. Straight from a goat, right? <laughs> Definitely not from a giantess. Yeah. Someone stole me socks and glasses. What year is it again? Okay, so gotta find him some glasses. But those socks came from my house. Eh? It says something's there, but I don't see anything. Okay. Maybe once we have the shovel. Greetings, youngster. I see you know some unique skills. You can spam most of them as, as much as you want, with no cost at all. But some skills have a cooldown timer, which means you can't use them again for a few turns. Cooldowns, huh? We've got a few skills like that. Are cooldowns just there for balanced, extremely powerful stuff? Yeah, for example, I can only cast Giga Doomsday once every 10 turns. Not that I would ever use such a spell anyway. I'm a friendly wizard, of course. It's just a coincidence that the southern continent was obliterated recently. <laughs> uh huh. T totally a coincidence. We totally believe you. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm Tandolf, and this is my partner, Randolph. We've been together for 13 years now, studying magic across the world. There's a lot to learn out there, and I'm sure you'll learn plenty of cool skills as you spend your AP in the skills menu. Don't try to sneak tutorials into casual conversations. I'm going to beat the game without learning any skills, just to spite you. Too late. Haha, <laughs> don't blame me if that doesn't work out. Ooh, I can get a candle and set this on fire. And I have all of these already. I need to get him. Okay, uh, I set you on fire. <laughs> nice. I was thinking I need to get him a uh, multi, multi-targetable skill. Defensive foes are the worst. They can be very annoying. And I actually think the ones that respawn are the more annoying ones. Ooh, apple slices. Regen and a straight up hill. I didn't know they could do both. Also, since he was just sitting there in the middle of the road, I thought he was somebody's pet. <laughs> Too good to talk to us, eh? Well, whatever, you keep me out anyway. I mean, they were staring at this little thing. They must be going, it's so cute. Just like me. Cute little grass monster. Uh, Swift Slash. I like how fast it hits, but I wish it would do a little more damage. Oh well. It'll get higher level eventually. Should name it run away rather than surrender. Glass, super tape, iron plate. Walked off again.
Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. This is the farmer's market. We can grab that shovel over there and maybe a few other things if we don't get caught. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might be up for a bit of thievery. We make a good team. <laughs> we'll take the obvious monster first. Oh, look how cute. Scan them for the cute one. You are a cutie worm. <laughs> Swift slash. You haven't managed to kill anything else, so you definitely shouldn't kill the cutie worm. I almost feel bad fighting such weaklings now. It's not rewarding to beat up defenseless foes. Matt, as long as they give us items and money, they're good. Tactics. Catch it. Yay! I need to get butterfly wings. Um, skill. Jump. Bonk. Oh, that's interesting. The multi hit attack will bypass the, uh, bypass the lovable status. Swift Slash? Haha! <laughs> and Swift Slash will also bypass it. Get a staff? Boost the damage of bio skill. Not currently using any bio skills. Okay, so I'll have to come down from below for whatever that is. Got treasure. Food. Okay. They totally do not question us at all. When times get desperate, I come here with Uncle Ross to sell our leftover items. They don't give us a good deal, but sometimes we just really need the money quick, you know what I mean? If you can afford it, you're better off just hoarding your items until you need them someday. We've got unlimited inventories after all. Ugh, these prices are a scam! I'm better off finding these items in treasure chests or cutting them out of monsters. But sometimes there's that one last item I need to upgrade a weapon. So I guess I just have to put up with these prices or waste hours looking for a certain item. The RPG way. You waste those items looking for the item. Waste the hours looking for the item. Ah, there's more stuff back here! We can sneak past the shopkeepers like ninjas. <laughs> Uh, oh, the glasses that old guy wanted. And I'm not being like ninja like at all. Uh, copper key. Remove a copper, a single copper block from Anna's house. I guess we'll find Anna eventually. Okay, we'll have to go around for that. Ha ha. Oh no! You! I saw what you did! Those things don't belong to you! I'm not gonna let you get away with theft! Needs love, the enemy. Natalie. Whoa, it's a cute girl. Let's try not to do anything stupid to upset her. She already looks quite mad. Um... Sorry, dude. <laughs> Heals the neutral status effects on all allies, including... Gives confused status to... To all active allies? What? Uses a weak not a to bite, which is a deadly virus. Gives a morale to all allies, including those in backup, protecting them. Gives us blessed. Uh, dry status. I was hoping for one that would do this. I mean, ah, so cute. My little fight seems to be fading away. 
I didn't have a choice. I needed the shovel to progress in the game. And the snacks are for my starving pet cat. Just look at how scruffy he is. Okay. Tactics. Defend. Tactics. Defend. Yeah, you're right. You guys aren't talking your way out of this one. The cat is cute, but I can tell he isn't innocent either. All I see are a bunch of crooks. Defend. Uh, one more turn on that. Keep defending. Defend. Lovable. L love How are we supposed to win a fight by being lovable? Are you just joking around? What is this? Some kind of spell? Why are we fighting anyway? I can't even remember. Let's take a break. And I think if I just continue defending... She'll surrender. Ta-da! Ooh, we get a cupcake and coffee. Nice. Uh, are you okay? How are you feeling? We weren't trying to cause any major tr trouble, I promise. My head's spinning. What? What happened? Can we forget this whole confrontation ever happened? Let's move away from here before anyone starts asking questions. Meow. Oh, you're right. I think she's sobering up. Gotta make up an alibi fast. What happened to me? Did the thieves get away? Hey, we're Matt and Nilix, just a bunch of chumps looking to fight monsters and do good deeds. Yep, that's us. You just fainted for a while. Oh, I remember now. You jerks were caught stealing and then you attacked me. This experience- I did not attack you! You attacked me! Super sorry about that. We just didn't want to go to jail. We didn't even steal anything valuable yet. We're just stretching our wings and learning the ropes around here or something like that. Hmm. Maybe I can use these morons for the time being. If they'll cooperate. Well, you put up a good fight at least. Perhaps we can work together for a while. <laughs> we didn't fight hardly at all. There's a lot of monsters around lately, probably due to that meteor. I've been sent on a mission to investigate the monolith that fell alongside it and could use some help. We're on a mission to, to find treasure and food and to get stronger. We've already learned a lot out here. Yelf, that's right. <laughs> Alright then. Let's use that shovel you've borrowed and head to the coast. With all the bridges have been knocked out, our only way off the island is through the ice caves to the southeast. There might be a few big monsters along the way, but nothing we can't handle together. Yeah, hear that, Nilix? We're going on a proper adventure far away from home. Yeah. Oh, and I'm Natalie, by the way. Pleased to meet you both. Hello, Natalie. Ah, the little, the little plant monster came back. Your map has been updated. That's nice. But I am going on a rampant to destroy all the rocks adventure. Because they were annoying and they need to go away. And... Hey. Alright map, I will look at you. Hey, you're looking better, dude. Oh, you found the shovel? Good for you. Where were you earlier when I needed you, mate? I've already finished my shift. My work here is done. Oh, fine. You can have some coffee, too. Yogurt and coffee. Well, thank you for the coffee. Do all the backtracking. And hope I don't miss anything. Don't think I'm going to. Do I want to fight monsters along the way, though? Geode. Pretty nice. Got wool and buckler. Yeah, but I still can't get that because I need... something. Although... I guess I won't know for certain whether or not I've gotten it until I go look at it, because I haven't yet. I need a ladder. Oh, kitty! Boom. Oh, whoa! Did that slime cat bring me here? Or did I die and go to heaven? That might be more likely. Um, kitty. Whoa, this place looks super fancy. I got a feeling I won't be treated nicely around here. Um. Okay, 
can I... I can't move that. Um... I do remember there being a hammer. So... Maybe I have to find the hammer before I can get over there. And what do you have to say? I am Odin, the guardian of this holy spirit realm. Feel free to come and go as you wish. However, there is one slime cat I cannot allow you to touch, as it leads straight to the temple of hell in a lake of fire. Really? You don't think we can handle it? Or are you just keeping some secret treasure for yourself? Oh, primitive child. Only legendary heroes who have defeated all the super bosses can pass here. The greatest challenges of all lies beyond this point. At your current level, you would be slain immediately. Say what? The bosses which you must defeat are known as the Sisters, the Tunnel Machine, the Den of Ninja, the God of Fire, and the Queen of Hydras. They are all more powerful versions of regular bosses and are found in the optional dungeons. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Well, nice of you... Bah, nice of them to tell you straight up what you need to go do. I like the lack of ambiguity there. As otherwise I'd be running around forever. Hello, easy enemy. I think that the box icon next to the foe's hit point bar indicates that we've already captured that foe. We should pay attention, since I don't think there's any point to capturing a foe twice. Mm. Mm. It seems that no-leg skills are good at clearing out damaged foes, and then continuing to deck others after that. Whoops, we actually did it. Let's see what loot we got. Why are you acting like we haven't fought before? I'm just backtracking to see what I've missed. Normal. Okay. Who else wants some of this, eh? Nothing here to be shoveled. In a... No, I don't think there's anything to be shoveled there. How about here? Not really. This should circle back around. Okay. No breakable rocks here. Uh, there? Not there. There? Uh, yes. Got Earth Ball and Razor Claw. And need the hammer. They don't tell me how to get the hammer though. Um. Hmm. Okay. Not sure which is the proper direction to go since they both want me to follow arrows. Yeah, what's up? What sort of things are you into? Like, uh, hobbies, I mean. Do you like video games? Because I do. Uh, I've been playing a lot of addictive puzzle games on my phone lately. I've also got a DS with a bunch of mystery solving games. Those are really fun to play while I'm traveling. Oh, I don't like puzzle games. They kind of suck in my opinion. Whatever. Dude, if you want to impress someone, do not insult their gaming choices. You a silly bean. Is there really no way around there? I don't consider golems to be alive. You can beat this guys up all you want and I won't complain. <laughs> How kind of you. And, and angry birds. Sand slime, sandstone boulder. Okay, uh, wait to ice and water. 
Ice and Wind. Okay. Wait, is anybody... Skill... See if I can catch the sandy boy. Yes. Now, they both say they're sand slimes, but they look different. What are you hoping to accomplish, foe? You're just filling up my limit brick faster. the ground somehow produces water. It's a miracle. I think I need to pick up some more skills. As you saw earlier, I can do magic spells. I'm not going to be a pushover in battle. What the hell? That isn't sand. It's some kind of sticky pudding stuff. Let's not, let's not think about that, okay? Free water. I should start a case starter, Kickstarter scam. Oh. Uh, whoops. <laughs> See, I can fight too. You only beat me back there because it was two against one. We beat you by not fighting. Armor, cactus dress, boosts the damage of bio skills. Hey. hey Matt, stuff is really going down. This whole bridge is out. The only way across the water now is by raft, and ironically, the raft maker lives on the other side of the water. So we ain't getting no rafts, man. Everything's gonna be fine. We know how to get across, we're just gonna go through the ice cave. We? Who's the girl and the cat? Are you ditching me again? Why can't we ever hang out? Well, uh, I... Maybe some other time. I mean, let Jeff come along. Puppies! Huh? Why are we in battle positions? Because we need to capture the puppy! It's a mission! Probably not seeing if the puppy dies. <laughs> I'm sorry, puppy! Huh, did I see a glowing cat-like figure back there? That looked a lot like God what God Cat is described in the Book of Catus. Nah, it couldn't be the same one. I'm sorry, puppy. We'll respawn you and be back. Okay, um, oh yeah. Do I have five of those and I have the glasses. I forgot I need to go back for that. You there, Traveler. You emerged from the depths of the jungle, did you not? Would you happen perchance to have some spare lumber? I'd like to rebuild these totems that were destroyed by the shaking land. Um, luckily I do. Thank you, Traveler. May your kindness carry you far in this world. I lost a wooden idol. Uh, I guess I can go pick it back up. Rice ball for kitty. Um, a spell? Starball. A mysterious orange ball that fell from the sky. If all of those are collected, something may happen. Something may not happen. I can hit these targets no problem, but fast enemies still give me some trouble. I guess it's hard to hit enemies that are a higher level than me, and well, I'm level zero. <laughs> also, flying enemies. They tend to dodge attacks quite well. Sniping skills come in handy sometimes. We'll keep an eye out for our, on our accuracy stat. As I understand it, if your accuracy is higher than the foes of aid, you can't miss. Oh, well, with the exception of a very few skills that have a low, ex extra low accuracy. I'm worried about my grandfather. He doesn't believe in modern medicine, so he doesn't take any coffee with him while hunting. He won't be able to revive his fallen allies without coffee. Unless you've got a powerful healer in your party, carrying some garlic is also very important. 
You never know when you could be poisoned, stunned, or worse. I don't really like garlic, though, and I don't think my cat likes it either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have one more little tip for you. If you're unfamiliar with status effects, you can see a list of them in their stats and equips menu. Just hover over them to see their names. Ah! Teleport! Okay. Well, I think that teleporting foe means it's a... Well, not teleporting foe. The teleportation! Means it's a good spot to call the episode. So... Are you enjoying it? Well, I'm having fun anyway. How many references have you gotten? I think I need to start a list. Uh, let me know what you've noticed in the comments down below, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, bye bye!